sorry for that. All the promoters are liars. <laughs> so promoter lied. So guys, oh, yeah, he's fine. he's fine. So here, radio. Guys, let's be a bit quiet, please. Alexander, right here, Radio Rahim in the front. Congratulations on an incredible victory. When the judges scorecards were read and the first two were split, what was your feeling? Were you worried? Uh, no, I don't worry. I don't know why, because I, uh, I believe what, uh, that I, I win. I could do work. Don't worry. Your team has said that the referee stole a knockout from you. What did you think about the knockdown, and do you feel like a knockout was stolen from you? I don't think about it because uh, we have a uh, winner. Okay, maybe. I don't think about it because we have win. Yeah? Okay, no knockout, no problem. But uh, 12th round, it's a big drama. Yeah. yeah. The last one from me, Tyson Fury hasn't committed to a rematch, and there's talk that maybe he still fights AJ. Would you be disappointed if you don't get Tyson Fury again right away? Tyson Fury obiecał rematch, ale on все равно ще хоче з AJ битись. Чи ти розчаруєшся, що не буде рематча? Now, well, oh, don't play, please. Well, I don't think about. Boxing now, please, because I say my start was um, September 2023, September, November, December, October, October, October. 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 Oh, sorry, listen, okay, it's seven, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Yes. Nine months I work. Uh, missed. missed. I missed uh, Happy New Year. I missed birthday my son. I missed uh, birthday my son too. I missed birthday my daughter. I missed born my daughter. I missed all my uh, family, family, family holidays. Family holiday, holidays. All time training, training, training. My focus was only this fight. Now I'm happy. Uh, I want to back uh, home, go to my church, pray. I want to say, Jesus, thank you, because for me uh, and uh, my country, it's a uh, big opportunity. I... Uh, no, thank, thank you. I grateful for uh, who pray for me because it's a lot of uh, many people. Many people, yeah, a lot of many people. Thank you. Oh, Thank exactly. you so much. Wait, wait, please. Can I a little bit uh, speak? Because I very 
Лонг молчал. Вот silent. Вот silent. Oh. I thank you, my team. My team, team Usik. Thank you so much. I love you. Юрий, мой коуч. Unbelievable man. Юрий, don't worry. We win. We do it. Сергей. Did it. Did it. Brother. Uh, блин, вы все знаете, uh, you all uh, know, I, I love you. Раз. Душнила. Душнила, you magic. Yes. You and Yuri, you both Душнила. You know who is Душнила? No. Дима. Who is? Баскел, да? Is it Баскел? Eight months. Do this, do this, do this. Walk, run, boxing, defend it, eat, sleep. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, listen, I'm not children. Shut up. This is man. What's going on? Shut up, you. Go to sleep. I say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I go to my room. I lie in there. <laughs> Open my door. It's my, it's my place. Uh, I love my team. Aegis Klimas, Alex Krasiuk. Unbelievable. I love you. We do it. We've done it, actually. Uh, okay, next question. <laughs> Alexander, you explained in the build-up to this that sometimes before a big fight, your dad would come and visit you and smile. Did he come to you before this one? Was there any difference? And how much do you think it helped you? Dad. His dad, yeah. Uh, uh, no, because uh, last time when my father go me, my well, go my dream, huh? My dream. My, 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 my dream. Uh, I miss uh, my father. Uh, I, I say my father, hey, listen, uh, you live that, I live here. Please. Uh, no coming for me. I love you. Uh, for me, it's hard uh, when my father <laughs> coming for me because I remember all my life. Сказав, я писав вдячність Богу. Я дякую тобі, що я тут. Я дякую, що ти даєш мені можливість. 
I'm thankful that you are here and I'm thankful that you are giving me the opportunity. Я знаю, що ти мене ведеш тим шляхом, який вигідний для тебе. I know you are leading me the way uh, which you consider is better for me. Якщо я заслуговую на це, будь ласка, подаруй мені цю перемогу. And if I really deserve this, please grant me this victory. Не мене, не я головний в этом. Ти головний. І все это для тебе і ради тебе. I am not the principal. You are the principal. And this all is for you in, in your glory. What a magnificent fight it was too. What a fight. It absolutely was all what we all expected. A great fight, two great fighters. Um, in some ways controversial in, in, in as much it... Hey. You've got a press conference going on over the back there, boys. Um, and it, it was magnificent. To, I mean, you know, I'm so proud of Tyson. He's a friend and great friend and his family. And, it's, uh, and I genuinely thought, you know, that he would do what he'd do. And, and then you look at the fight after the first round for quite a while. Tyson was, I thought he was going to stop him. He looked so much in control of the fight. But then when he got caught on the nose, in my opinion, he lost his concentration just for a moment. And then the next round, obviously, there was the 10-8 round. Um, I personally felt I agreed with the judge who gave it to Tyson. But no sour grapes, no crybaby stuff. We got a unified champion, and uh, that is it. And, and we, we congratulate him and his team on putting a great event together, a brilliant event here in the kingdom. His Excellency, you know, thanks to His Excellency, this happened, and what a great <coughs> night as and the other fights on the card. This has been a brilliant, brilliant night for boxing, and we should celebrate what we watched because these guys show true grit all the way through. Tyson, you've earned all the money in the world that you need. You've got eight, an eighth baby on the way. You proved yourself. That's not confirmed. You told <laughs> eight babies not confirmed. Uh, you proved yourself. Not yet, with, anyway. You, you proved yourself with the Wilder fights getting up in that in round nine. Why are you getting up off the floor? What, what, what is in your head that's making? He, he's got a war to fight. He thinks he's doing it for a nation. What, I, I don't know how you did it, mate. You know what? I just want to say thank you to God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We uh, put on a good fight for the fans. You know, I always say it's about getting paid and getting laid. Um, and we did that tonight. I thank Alexander for the for the good fight. Um, it was a close fight, you know. I I, I believed like I, I thought I did enough, but you know I'm not a judge. I can't judge a fight while I'm boxing it. You know, if if they would have said to me in the last round or whatever, you're down, go out and try and finish him. I would have done that, but we believe everyone in the corner believed we were up. You know, all I had to do was just keep boxing and doing what I was doing, and you know, I thought we was getting it, but it was what it was. I'm not going to cry about spilled milk. I've had plenty of victories, and I've gave God the, the glory. I've had this one loss and a close, close fight, you know, with a good, good man like Usyk, and it was what it was. Um, I tried my best in there. I, I was having a lot of fun actually. <laughs> I don't know if it looked like it, but I was playing around, and hands behind my back. I was enjoying it. You know, he's a good fighter, Alexander, and I was catching him, and he was catching me, and it was a good fight. So, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Get punched in the face. <coughs> yes. Thank you. Yep. You know, I thought uh, the first six rounds, he maybe nicked one of the rounds, and. Yeah, maybe. And then going forward, like, I believe I won a few of the, the last rounds as well, so I'm not sure. You know, if I won the first, say I won five of the first six, and then the next six, I, I won a few as well. So, listen, it was close. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I tried my best, and it, it was what it was. I come up short. One of the judges had me winning, and the other two didn't. So, yeah, I can't complain about it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Tyson, obviously, you've consistently said that you felt, felt like you're the best heavyweight of this generation. I'm sure a loss wasn't in your imagination. Like, 
first of all, congratulations on the performance, but how, how do you feel right now, you know, with something that you never thought would really, would really happen? Let me tell you, I'm very happy. Uh, in my mind, I did the best I could and I thought I won the fight, but it was what it was. I'm happy with the performance, you know. Both men's got paid and both men's going home to their lovely wives and children. And that's what it's about. We put on a show for the fans. You know, Usyk's 37, I'm 36 year old. We're, we're not young kids anymore. We're at the end of our careers and we put on a brilliant fight tonight. So I'm proud of myself, you know what I mean? I'm proud. In that ninth round, I was hit and I was hurt and I rallied on back. That's what the GK does. Um, and it was what it was. I'm just thankful that both got out the, out the ring in one piece and we're on to the next one. True British grit. That's what this is. This man here. True Brit grit. Thank you, guys. The, uh, what I want to ask a question, please. Uh, Tyson Yevhenchuk uh, of Sport the Arena Ukraine. Uh, first of all, thank you for your fight. Thank you for being respectful. Uh, yep. My question is, uh, did Alexander surprise you somehow? Not really, because I knew he was a good boxer coming into it. Um, he didn't surprise me. We was prepared. We were fully prepared. He had a long training camp. You know, we had a couple of training camps. One of them I got the cut in, and then we postponed it, put it back again, another 15 weeks. <coughs> it was what it was. I believe that I was the best I could have been. I don't think I could have done any better. Um, maybe if, if they'd have said to me, write you down in the last two rounds, I probably could have went out and tried to attack him and tried to get him out of there myself. But other than that, I'd done the best I could, you know. It's a good fight. Just finish, please. Rematch, gentlemen. Thoughts? Sorry? Rematch, thoughts? Yeah, you know, we just had a fight. If you can see my face, I'm pretty um, busted up and he's gone to the hospital with a broken jaw and he's busted too. So we punch fuck out of each other for 12 rounds there. So we're going to go home, eat some food, drink a few beers, spend some family time, walk my dog, go to the tip. And me and Frank will talk about what's going to happen in the future. No rush for anything. Thank you. Let's see if we're going to have it. Let's see if we're going to have it first. Listen, I don't know, I don't know um, what's going to happen, but, you know, I think i just do a little bit more of the same, keep my defence a little bit tighter, a bit more focused, and I'm not, not so much messing around, because I was having fun in there. Amazing, I was playing around. I was hitting him to the body. I was hitting uppercuts to the head. I thought I was, I thought I was bossing the fight. You don't like the body shots either. Well, it was what it was, wasn't it? I was hitting him both sides of the body. Crack, crack. Yeah. Well, can I say, Parson, Australia loves you. Thank you. Get up! Right. Okay, so can we have questions from the press now? Any press questions? Is everyone that the microphone? Who's got the mic? Yeah. Thank you. Question for Sugar. Um, Sugar, how close were you to? Or what were your thoughts going through your head when Tyson sort of went down in that ninth round? Were you? Thinking about this could be the, this could be it, or we always confidently get back off the canvas. Um, when that happened in the ninth round, obviously, I mean Tyson's been through a lot. He's an intelligent fighter, and um, he's supposed to do what he's supposed to do: um, protect yourself, slip, dip, hold, whatever you got to do. Um, that's a part of boxing. It always has to be in the game plan when uh, you get put in a situation like that. Next question. Question. Said he wasn't. Tyson, were you hurt in the uh, moment when you went down? Here's the mic, please. Okay. He knocked out my eyes. No eyes. Because he wasn't hurt. Because he wasn't hurt. Fucking. But I wasn't. That's you said. Uh, you said. Question. <laughs> Close the mic. Yeah, Ooh, press good press. catch, blue shirt. Well done. <laughs> real press question, uh, please. Oh, yeah. Tyson, you, in, in, the, in the immediate and very emotional aftermath of the decision, you said you thought it went against you because Ukraine was at war. I just wonder if you... No. Do, do you want to talk about that? Do you want to, I mean, what? Listen, it was what it was. Uh, we, we couldn't, it's not up to the fighters, you know. Good. One of the judges had me winning, two of them didn't. It was what it was. And, and at the end of the day... Can't really say much about it. Boxers are like, unlike any other sportsman. Sportsmen, footballers, everybody can go back to the dressing room, compose themselves and come out. They've had a war, and things are said, so please, people should absolutely show some respect to that. This man's been brilliant for British boxing, and he's done great for it, and we should all be proud of him as a nation for what he's done as a fighter. Uh, Tyson, congratulations on a, on a great Thank fight. You. Um, I just want to nail down your thoughts on the rematch, and if, if you're not going to take it, is, is this possibly going to be it for you? 
Let me tell you, I've just had a fight. I've just come out. I don't want to think about having a boxing fight. I've been in camp seven months, don't forget. Caught, back in camp, back in camp. It was what it was. I'm here to get paid, get laid, go home. That's exactly what I'll do. And then we'll regroup and then we'll talk about it. And if there's going to be another fight soon, or whenever it is, October, I think they're believing about it, we'll rock and roll Sally. Get up. Right. Last one now. Last one. Matt Lederham for Boxing Social. Tyson, you've always done so well when your back's against the wall and you're going into the fights where there's genuine jeopardy and that's what you get up for. After the fight, although you've took the defeat, does that, that sort of give you that hunger? I know you've just finished the fight, but you're now the hunter again, going after all the belts in a rematch. Listen, it is what it is. I can't really say much. What can I say? Close fight. Could have nicked it. Couldn't have. Whatever. Could have been a draw. Who knows? But I haven't got the decision. I'm not going to cry about it. We'll regroup. I'll have an holiday. Go home, speak to the wife and kids, and we'll see. I'll see what I want to do. You know, it's, I ain't boxing in here because I've got no money. I box it because I love it. Do you understand? I'm 36 in a few months. And I've been boxing since I've been a child. So it is what it is. Where does it all end? Do you have 100 fights and brain damage in a wheelchair? I'm not sure. And, and but the one thing is, all the time I'm still loving the game, and I was having fun in there, I was really enjoying myself, then I'll continue to do it. And when I can't do that anymore, I'll pack it up. Congra yeah. Congratulations. That's it, really. Thank you, everybody, and good night. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.